Hey guys and welcome back to our Road to Glory series we've got on the channel at the moment. This is episode 8 I believe. I mean not that many episodes but we're going to get straight into it and we are in Division 7 I believe it was. And obviously there's our team and we go straight in against this team ourselves and it's got a decent team you know. It's got, I mean it's kind of a basic Premier League team, it's a 4 for 2 for some reason I was struggling it's 4 for 2 so didn't quite know what to expect with this guy. Obviously, he's got lone Hector Bella in there, which obviously a bit of pace at the back is not going to hurt anyone. Well, especially going to help him out. But he gets a free kick here, and I do not know what I defended there. He kind of just ran away from the ball. I don't know why he didn't head it clear. And uh, yeah, free header, easy header for him in the 53rd minute as well it took for a goal to come. And then when one came, Lowe's came. And it didn't take us too long to get down into the box. A brilliant skill move from Shahari, get inside, pass it across, and a beautiful inside Effort goal shot with his left foot. Um, don't even know who that was. That Jovetic. I don't know. I don't know if that was Jovetic. I can't tell. But um, yeah. And we go one one, and then we go steaming into the box. I have no idea what happened. Well, I mean, obviously it's clear what happened, but yeah, he just took me out basically. <laughs> so we got a penalty. Really didn't need to do that at all. I mean, we weren't going to really score from going down there. But yeah, he just kept sliding across and only got yellow card though, it's interesting. I actually thought at the time he maybe was going to get a red. Trying to pick me off in goal with his keeper going side to side. But as you're about to see, that didn't matter what he was doing in goal. Because we stepped up, put it in our favourite keeper's left hand side, our right, to our right. And uh, that is... Well, I don't even know who that is, I can't even tell, that must be Jovetic. And puts it in the back of the net to go, um, what's that, 2-1 up. And then, of course... We get another goal as well, just a round off the game. 3-1, that's a lovely finish into the bottom corner, across the goal, along the floor again. My favourite type of goal that I like scoring in this FIFA, which you guys know. Into the next game, and um, yeah, for some reason I forgot to show the uh, match stats and um, things that end in the game, so I do apologise for that. But go to this game, this guy's got the Liga team with a couple of uh, French league players in there as well. Actually, he's got, it's a French league, Spanish league hybrid team he's got there. It's quite a nice team, well built, got some good players in there, especially... Uh, Jeep, Jeep starter players, but it didn't matter. It didn't affect us one bit. Playing in a skeleton kit. Adair with a fantastic finish across the keeper to put us 1-0 up. And, um, yeah, just an excellent finish across the keeper. But somehow we go pushing on, trying to get a second goal, and we get done on the counter-attack. Just a simple three ball, and it's a very nice finesse goal finish from himself. And, uh, puts it straight into the back of that 1-1 after 75 minutes. But does it finish 1-1? No, it does not. We come forward again, just five minutes after his goal. We got goal side of his last def of his defender that was marking El Shahari. His other defender was playing him on just with the other side. Simple through ball and a simple finish to go 2 1 up in the 81st minute. And then after that, he had had enough, didn't want to play out the rest of the game, and he did in fact rage quit there. So Adair and El Shahari with the two goals and a goal apiece, of course. Goal assist, Benigo and Isla. And um, yeah. Very comfortable, nice one to win against uh, his team is called Pogboom. <laughs> and as you can see, like how it was only 2 1, I have no idea. No idea. 13 shots, not on the target. We only managed to get, what, two of them, three of them. I can't remember what the scores were. If it was 2 1 or 3 1. Can't, 2 1, there we go. Yep. Don't know how we only scored two goals, but I guess at the end of the day, at least we got the three points. And in the next game, this guy's got the uh, player of the month, Son. Left wing. Also, when I recorded this, that informed Dre the foe was brand new out. So, um, yeah, he must have got him really, really quick. And um, you'll see why he's got him in this um, episode. But first of all, I mean, we get a lucky goal. Excellent shot. Too much power for the keeper to handle. But the keeper couldn't push it out. I guess he tried to catch it. I don't really know. And then obviously laid it off to us. We tapped it in. But in that come to Son, into Dre the foe. I think the keeper probably could have done better there. I know Defoe, I think this informs Defoe's got it's got 86 shooting or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah. He uh, obviously banged that one in the back of the net. But I think the keeper done better. But this one, their keeper, no chance. Ask 53rd minute. We go 2-1 in the lead. And we take the lead once again. And I have no idea what his defence was for this goal. Absolutely no idea. We play a simple triangle ball. He's all by himself. And for a second, I thought I was going to miss that. But it just creeped in. And I shushed him because it had been such a tight game. And I'd been better than him. And I was just waiting, basically, to get that third goal. All important third goal. Finally, I did. And I just had enough. And I was like, I'm going to shush him. Just because. 
I felt like it. See, and again, complete domination here. Two shots, two on target. <laughs> Managed to get the one goal. We had eight attempts, five on five on target. And I guess three goals from five shots on target is a pretty nice return. Has a goal on almost every three shots, just less. So, yeah, very good start to this, uh, this season. Three out of three. And we did need some contracts. So, I did go in and I brought... Well, as you can see, I bought a lot of contracts because I thought there's no point. I didn't know exactly how many I needed, but I knew I'd need more eventually anyway. So, yeah, I just picked up a load of them. And then, of course, uh, added them onto the players that needed them. Not really sure what's going on here. If we go, we're back out of this and uh, add a couple of contracts on to the players. And as you can see, they did just flash out the top that four games remaining for our coin boost. So, yeah, not too much longer with a... Uh, with our only 200 coin plus bonus. I don't know what level we have to get up to to get our next uh, coin boost unlock. So yeah, we have to make sure we look out for that. But into the next game, this guy's got five at the back. It's got and he's, this guy's also got the informed range of phone, and he's got informed about a Firmino up front as well. And at five at the back, you know, I'm not a fa I'm not a, f a fan of playing against five at the back because you always think it's going to be a tricky game, especially with uh, I'm trying to pull his defenders out of position. And I don't know what I was doing there. I lost the ball, got frustrated. And I took him straight out from behind and got sent off with Felipe Anderson, a straight red card. And uh, then we really did get put on the back foot. And then again, I slide in. I think I only pre I think I pressed square because I thought I was going to hoof it away. But obviously I didn't and he slid in and yeah, he got, another, he got a penalty. And I, I did actually have my fingers crossed. I thought we were going to get another red card. I thought we were going to go down to nine men. Luckily for us, we didn't. And it was only a yellow. But was there more punishment to come from the penalty? Was he going to pull it past the keeper? I am quite good at saving penalties. I mean, somehow, I mean, maybe not on this account, but definitely um, on my main account when I'm just playing, I do save a hell of a lot of penalties that I give away. I save the majority of them, being honest, because I always die the way and everyone seems to go that way. But this guy didn't. He did go to the other side and we go 1-0 down. But even though we got 10 men, that didn't pull us off. And what a finish that was. What a finish. I shushed him again. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the shush formation, the formation, the shush celebration in this episode. But because I was 10 men and I came back and got a goal. And I felt like I was better than him as well. As you can see from the full-time stats. We did have 10 shots, 8 on target. Even though we were down to 10 men, we fully dominated that game. And if it wasn't for that silly penalty or maybe silly red card, he would never have got the opportunity. And we should have gone away with a full three points there. Easily, easily. But we didn't only got a draw. So we go into the fifth game. So yeah, the fifth and final game for this episode. And this guy's got 4 4 2 as well. He's got Della Ferry, I haven't seen a lot of recently. Well, I actually don't think seen anyone with him really when I've been playing about. He's got Jordi Elba left back, nice. And Thomas Miller there, Randley up front. So he had poor chemistry. Wanted to just see if we could uh, obviously take advantage of that. And just about five minutes before this, before he just got this second yellow carver out, he got the first yellow, about five minutes before this, by diving in as well. And then like five minutes later, he dived in straight away and got him the second yellow. I don't know what he was doing. And then he tries to take me out again there. Excellent skill by Oshai. That's one of my favourite skills to do with a five star skiller. Is that little, like a sort of, sort of roulette -y type inside skill. And it worked. And finally, it took us to the, just inside the second half to get that goal, to go one him up. 20 minutes later, we do find the all important second goal. I was desperate to get this. We finally did get it with, um, who was that? Jorginho there. Getting the all important second goal. What's that? 20, wait, 17 minutes from the end even. Not 20, not 27, 17 minutes from the end there. We do get the 2 advantage us, and we go into stoppage time. We play the corner short, and then, I just I don't know really what I do for corners. I just try and do random stuff all the time, because I never you never I never really score headers. And this time, we just managed to do a little ball roll, pass it in, and slot it home to make it 3-0. But was that it? Is that the end of the story? Was that the full-time score? No, it was not. We're still in injury time. We play another ball through and we go 4 0 up. I see another little roulette type skill there as well in the middle of the park to get around him because I knew I could do it. He just kept sliding it at this point. Probably just wanted the game to be over. So we go 4 0 up. Do we finish 4 0? No, we didn't. We scored a third goal in injury time. And yeah, I did kind of tramp it a little bit. Um, But I wanted to get that third goal in injury time because, you know, I don't think many people score three goals in injury time. I know there was five minutes of um added time. But, um, yeah, we got a three goals in injury time, which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty impressive, if I'm being, if I'm being honest. And win that game 5-0. Easy winners. Easy result there, especially after he got that red card. He was really lost. And, I mean, look at that. 22 shots with 16 on target in that game. 5-0, fully deserved. And from those stats, yeah, it's, it's going to be nothing else, basically. 5-0 is more, more than acceptable. 
result, especially for him as well. So as you can see from the end of that game, from our five games this episode, uh, well we've won four, but drawn one. The one we've drawn, <laughs> we, we still should have won, even though we only had 10 men in that game, which is uh, yeah quite unbelievable. So yeah, we've got five games to go. We are projected 28 points, so... I mean, we only need four points to get promoted, so that's two wins and one win and a draw, which we'll, you will see next episode if we do get promoted or not, out of two Division 6. Um, I feel the confident. I think we will. Um, but, um, yeah, we also got 23,000 coins now. Um, a record's looking good, 26-5-3. So that's very healthy, very nice. Um, we're scoring a lot of goals still. We're doing very well. Um, there's been a new patch just recently for FIFA, which has kind of made me... I don't know, it just feels like something's different. It feels like something's different from the gameplay. Um, so yeah, uh, but hopefully we should still be, uh, well, looking good. Looking very good. And uh, being able to perform well and still get victories. So yeah, um, so we're still looking for a second team to make. So if you've got any ideas, any, uh, any, um, also look, if we get the championship, we get 5,000 coins. So uh, I have actually recorded that episode. I'm not going to tell you what happened. You're going to have to watch it to find out. So let's just say for the time being because obviously I know what happened but I'm not going to say you um, so we've got 23,000 coins at the moment if you think I am going to get promoted next episode then that I've already recorded then add like the 5,000 coins on or the 4,000 coins and maybe come up with a team uh, about a team worth about 30k obviously not Serie A so like maybe a Premier League team maybe a Serie A maybe a French League team any team it doesn't really matter where it's from we need another team so we, you know for fitnesses and things like that and I just like having two teams rather than having the sort of players in and out. Because there's always a couple of players that always seem to be short on fitness um, at some point. So yeah, another team is what we need. Let me know your thoughts, comments, anything about the series in the comments below. And uh, recommended teams that you think I should get for 23, between 23 and 30,000 coins maybe. It could be worth more, it just means we might have to wait um, a couple of episodes to maybe get a couple more promotions to get more coins in. Because... um. I could do some trading and things like that, but like for people that don't have time to do trading or anything like that, I just want it to be simply, we're just, just going to simply play games and own coins from the games, and that's how we're going to build our team. So you guys can see that, you know, it's it's pretty easy if you keep playing to get good players that you want, players that are worth a lot of coins. If you just grind out and uh, enjoy playing the game and play, obviously enough of it to get the coins and that. So yeah, I don't really want to do any trading. I just want to own coins from playing games. And that's how we're going to do. And I do still want to do a foot champions weekend for this series. Um, so I know most people will be doing it within their ultimate team. So that can still be part of it. Because anyone who can enter it can, uh, has a chance to qualify opportunity. So yeah, I feel like that should uh, definitely be included in there. So soon I am going to do the first one for this series. Not sure when. It may be after Christmas now. Uh, but yeah, we just have to see how that happens. So sorry if you're blabbering on about that. But that's just a little heads up there. So thanks so much for watching guys as always, hope you're enjoying this series and all the other series. If you are then you're new around here then hit the subscribe button and uh, just let me know any thoughts in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.